If I didn't say I was nervous, I'd be lying right now. I'm about to go to a haunted house by myself, and I have no idea what's what's gonna happen. It's 8.35 right now. I ordered an Airbnb that is supposedly haunted. I'm not gonna give the name of the location because first of all, I don't even know if I can film there. And then second of all, I don't want I don't want the owner to see this and be upset, you know? But I don't know if you can even hear it in my voice. I'm scared. And you're probably like, Colby, why are you doing this then? Like nobody's asking you to do this. It's because of two things. One, it's October. Today is the last Friday of October, so I wanted to end it with a bang. Speaking of, speaking of, side note, Next week I have a country music video coming out, not even kidding, so it's gonna be a short video, but you guys will love it, so get ready for that. And then number two is I truly, truly believe ghosts and demons or whatever we've been talking to in the past are so much more comfortable when it's a one-on-one -on -one interaction than with a group of people. And I know in our recent series, the experts told us that the number one rule was not to ghost hunt by yourself, but I'm at this point where I'm kinda like Sam and I just wanna figure it out and I wanna see if if anything happens and it's only 30 minutes away, worst comes to worst, I'll just run, like I'll, I'll leave. But the goal is to stay there overnight and hopefully I survive. <laughs> uh, I'm really scared and I was reading the directions on how to get there and it's like in the middle of the woods and stuff. I'll just, I'll show you guys when we get there. The weird thing was the haunted Airbnb didn't say on the website why it was actually haunted. So I went out of my way to text the owner and this is what he had to say. He said that allegedly there was somebody that committed suicide here and it was left abandoned ever since. Apparently at night it's been reported that people have heard something crying and hear footsteps everywhere so that's all he said I don't know if that's true or not maybe he just said it was haunted because you know it might get more sales you never know I don't know all I know is that I'm in this by myself and it's time to go but before I leave I just want to say that this is your last chance to get any of the Halloween merch I'm saying like if you want it get it right now because you're not gonna have another chance after this we have the ghost hoodie as well and the pink take chances oh you can't even see that but go check it out it'll be the first link in the description so yeah if you want to help support me best way you can do that is get some merch thank you but I'll start to film again when we're getting close and show you what this place is gonna look like let's go all right guys so this is it um, this is so much scarier than I imagine it being. Guys, so I'm standing right in front of it. This is what it looks like. Let me turn the brightness up a little bit. Wow, look at that. This is it. Um, apparently somebody committed suicide in here. I think the door should be unlocked. Oh my God. Oh, you guys have no idea how scary this is doing it by yourself. Let me lock that really quick. All right, let's 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 take a tour of this place, shall we? First of all, I don't like that that's crooked. I know that's like a little thing. Also, I don't like that there are handprints all over the window, but again, that's probably just somebody trying to push it open. You can't even see it, but handprints everywhere. This looks really old. Is this it? Is it this small? This might be it. We got a bed right there. This is the outdoor section. Oh, and it even goes upstairs a little bit. Looks like we got a little kitchen. Nothing over here. Look at this old stove and the rust on the side of this fridge. Honestly didn't know it was gonna be this small. It's literally just one room, but whatever. Look what's up here. Whoa, holy sh Okay, so I don't know if you guys just saw what I did. But I came up these stairs from outside and look at this tiny crawl space. It's like a big Nick door. And then you come in here. First of all, look at that little heart. Oh man, instant temperature change. Oh wow. Oh no guys, this is giving me a weird feeling just being here alone. It smells honestly like a mix of mold and old people. And I don't think I really want to sleep here tonight. Like, oh my God. Right now, apparently I'm in the attic of the place and there's another bed up here, but I think I feel more safe up here. Dude, I'm shaking. It's just deathly quiet right now. I don't know if you guys can hear all the bugs in the background, but that's literally it. Honestly, there's nothing in here. Looks like a bunch of Japanese writing along with like a Japanese figurine. Look at that lamp. Oh my God, what am I doing? I'm just talking to the camera because it's a coping mechanism. Like if I didn't have this camera right now, I'd be shitting my pants. Damn, the fact that I'm gonna sleep here by myself tonight is just, can't even think. Maybe we can turn this on somehow. Oh, no, no, okay, okay, no, we're fine. 
out. All right, I'm gonna go back to my car really quick and grab all my stuff. So I am staying the night, so I brought like a bunch of clothes and sleeping stuff. That's the creepiest mask of all time. Why would they just have that hanging up here randomly? Such a small house. All right, figured out how to turn the lights on. That makes it a lot more homey in here, right? Look how tiny this is. It's like I walk five steps and I'm at the other side of the room. That's insane. All right, so now that I got all my stuff, I think I'm gonna go to the attic. I think that if there was anything like a suicide that happened here, it would be up there because first of all, I had a weird feeling when I went up there. Second of all, there's like rafters and stuff and I don't know if this person apparently died by suicide. This would be the spot to do it. I can't believe how tiny this is. It's like our own little chamber. Oh, look at this. This ain't too bad, right guys? You guys are gonna think I sound crazy, but there's almost something, there's almost something peaceful being in the middle of the woods by yourself. You know what I mean? What was that? This place looks really old, so I'm assuming all these boards and stuff just creak because it's old, or I'm just telling myself that so I don't freak out right now, but literally as I was saying, oh, this is so peaceful, I hear that noise, what the fuck? Um, I didn't bring any ghost equipment because I just wanted it to be me and whatever's here. I didn't want there to be anything else, any other technology involved because like you guys know in the Queen Mary, what happened, all the paranormal stuff that happened was literally while we turned the camera off. We had no idea that Aaron was filming it like in his pocket. I know we've said this in the past, but I think spirits or demons or whatever we're talking to kind of knows when you're, when you're filming and kind of knows when it's like a joke. So the more energy and focus you put in into believing that something's there, I think the more it would kind of reciprocate that and give back. So what I want to do is I brought my tripod. I want to set it up. I'm gonna sit on this bed right here far away. I'm just gonna talk kind of like a seance I'm gonna ask some questions. We're gonna see if we get anything. That'll be that. I don't I don't know really what else to do All right, this is so surreal to me every single time I turn this on. I'm gonna turn this light on too actually Honestly, don't know what to do what to say. I brought my computer and stuff if I get Bored I can just they have Wi-Fi here, which is hilarious because it's in the middle of nowhere but they have Wi-Fi so if I get extremely bored or super scared I can just plug in with headphones and try to go to sleep here but I don't know let's just try to talk to anything see if, if we get any answers any responses I don't know if we will again I don't know if this is actually haunted or not but it's worth a try and we're here so it's too late now right I think if I'm really quiet and I 100% believe it's just me then we might be able to talk to something we might be able to get a response so I'm just gonna try it if there's anything any spirit out there right now? I just want to let you know that it's, it's just me here. Oh, fuck. You guys hear that? Did you hear that? Please tell me you heard that. There was... Wait, 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 wait. I think there's voices outside. I'm not even kidding. Guys, I swear to God, you can't even see this, but out there, I heard voices. I'm going to close this. Fuck that. Goodbye. I hope the camera picked that up. Let's start this again. Maybe, maybe this is a haunted place. Oh my god. I'm sweating now. It's just me here. I want to talk to you. I came here because I want to believe as much as possible. And if you can help me tonight by showing me a sign or something, giving me some sort of evidence that you can hear me, that's all I ask for. And I don't want you to be afraid. I know your life is hard and I get it, but you didn't deserve that and you did not deserve the way you die. I just want you to know that I'm reaching out to you as a friend, even though you don't even know me. I want you to be able to trust me right now. It's just me and you. So if there's anything here, if there's any spirit that can hear me or just anything, please give me a sign. You know, I've spent my entire life pretty much being a skeptic. And after the whole thing with Queen Mary happened, my entire life changed, changed. And I know we've captured stuff in a lot of videos after Queen Mary. I want something that's so unbelievable and so crazy that I just like, like I don't know about you guys, but it's hard for me to watch shows on TV, like no offense, but like ghost adventures or ghost hunters and stuff like that when you don't know if it's the entire thing is being produced. I look so white right now. How are you supposed to trust that that's not just produced when there's four people with huge ass cameras walking around and it's obviously a television show. Like I want to be the YouTuber along with Sam, of course, and my friends to show you guys that this stuff is real and that there is something else out there because like we've said before in interviews and stuff this isn't only something to make you believe in ghosts but it might even affect the the way you believe in i don't know god or, or religion or something like that like this is so serious that it can affect you for the rest of your life i'm positive there's something out here like after queen mary there has to be something else that that was no coincidence i want there to be a sign i just want to i just want to know that's it i don't know if it's too much to ask for i'm gonna sit i'm gonna ask you 
couple more questions to see what happens. It's just me and you. If there's anything, anybody here that wants to talk, I'm all ears. Show me a sign. And hey, maybe you don't want to talk. And that's cool too, but can you at least show me, make a noise, make something move, give me a feeling, do something to tell me that you don't want me to be here. I am inviting you right now to touch me, scratch me, push me. Guys, I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. <sighs> I'm gonna... was down here. Wait, did I leave that door open? Did you guys hear that? I swear to God, at least two times during this video, I, I captured a voice outside. There's, there's something here. Maybe the suicide was outdoors. Maybe, I don't know. But every single time I'm, I'm quiet for a long time, I hear a voice out here and Look guys, I'm literally in the middle of nowhere. I'm in a forest right now. What if it was one of these trees? What if they found him hanging in the backyard? And that's why whenever I ask questions, I can hear him. Or I can hear something, a voice out here. I just want to be... Oh, did you guys hear that? This is scary. <laughs> Why the hell? I feel like it's so quiet that any noise, any creak just freaks me the hell out. It's like, it's probably nothing. It's probably just an old house, like the wind or something outside or, you know, we're in a forest, so maybe something fell from a tree, but every single time I hear something, my entire body just like freezes. I get a, a shiver down my spine, like, oh my God. All right, this is what I'm gonna do. Right now I'm in this living room area, I guess you could call it. I'm gonna go back upstairs in the attic. I'm gonna put you guys on the main tripod and I'm gonna do a little time lapse. If anything happens during that, obviously I'll record it, but I don't know guys, I, like, I guess this is just kind of a waiting game. I'll try again later too and ask a questions, but I don't know. <laughs> Guys, guys, I swear on my life, this lampshade, and maybe even, I don't even know if I can slow down a time lapse, but this lampshade just moved like this. I have chills everywhere. It was so loud, like literally, I'm sitting here in like the pitch quiet, and the lampshade's straight, and it just turns to its, to its side like that. I don't know if you guys are gonna believe me, and it was during a time lapse, so I don't know if you can even slow that down like I just said, but guys, I swear to God, that just moved, and there's nothing, like there's no breeze in here at all. Was that you? Is there something in here? I'm getting chills everywhere. Was that you that moved this lamp? Can you move it again, please? I saw you move the lamp. I know it was you. What the fuck? Oh my god, I can't believe that happened. This is the craziest thing ever. Yo, bro, I am at this haunted house right now, and I swear to god, bro, this lampshade right next to me, you see how it's tilted like that? Yeah, doesn't, that doesn't seem like the right way a lamp should be. Right, that's what I'm saying. I was filming a time lapse here and I was just chilling and I like I swear on my life, bro Like this this shade just moved on its own like to to that diagonal position what? Like it fell bro and like are no you, are you with anyone? No, I'm by myself Why? Why are you by yourself? Because I wanted to, like, I explained it earlier, but I wanted to figure this out, like, on my own. And for October, like, the last video, I just wanted to do something by myself to see if I could capture something like this, and something did happen. Is there any way to slow down a time lapse? Like, can you, like, undo a time lapse? You can make it slower, yeah. At the end, bro, if I can figure out how to do that, I I swear to God I got it on camera. If, if it's in the frame, if that lamp's in the frame, it's on camera because I was filming during it. Oh my God, that's, and you have all, you have it all of it on camera? I have that's literally crazy. all of it, yes. Holy Every single time I try to talk to it, like, I'll hear voices or, or cracks and stuff like that. But literally, bro, that was, I'm sitting on this bed right here, and that happened right before my eyes. I haven't heard anything for the past 20 minutes filming this, and that literally just slanted it. That made me sh my pants. Dude, I would sh my pants too. I hope you're safe, bro. Thank you, man. I think what I'm going to do is, since it's getting kind of late, like, I'll, I'm probably just going to try to go to sleep. Maybe, like, even plug in with headphones. I don't know. Okay, and yeah. Just call it a night and hopefully make it through. And if anything happens, I'll wake up. But dude, after that, like, I don't even want to 
Get me here! Dude, no, yeah, just text me if you need anything, bro. Okay, okay. I will. Thanks, bro. Okay. All right, peace, All right. man. Have a good night. Have a spooky night. <laughs> hey, all right, see you, man. See ya. I think I literally captured something. Like, I got evidence, so I'm happy. You know, that's that's all I really wanted. I wanted to, like, see if I could get something like that, and I did, and it freaks me out at first, and I know I sound kind of crazy talking like this, but, yeah, it's scary, but it's so fascinating to me at the same time. Like, I can't believe that just moved. That's just mind-boggling to me, but <sighs> I think the plan is I'm going to, um, I'm gonna take one more lap, gonna go downstairs, I'm gonna walk outside for a second, look around, and then I'm gonna call out one more time, and then, uh, I'm gonna go to sleep. I don't know. It's getting kind of late. So yeah It doesn't get less creepiness. Don't tell you that. See look now. There's just like a random staircase that goes into the woods Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh fuck. What what was that You guys heard that. I hope the camera picked that up. There was rustling in the leaves literally as I'm pointing the camera. I wonder if there's like some sort of wild animal out here or something. Like something is making noise out there, I swear to God. Hello? All right, I'm gonna leave the lights on down here. I locked all the doors. Gotta make sure I lock this one too as I leave. And now, I'm gonna go in my little attic by myself. Oh God. And then I'm gonna close my little attic door. And I'm gonna lock that sh too. So I'm done guys. I'm not I'm not leaving until morning. I made I made my decision. Even though that scary stuff just happened, I'm not leaving until morning. Let's do it. I think I think all that's left to do now is I'm gonna call out one more time, see if anything answers. If not, I don't know guys, I'm probably just gonna, you know, get on my phone, get on my computer, try to go get some sleep. And if anything happens, you'll be the first to know, obviously. All right. Holy shit. Was that you? This is your last chance. After this, I'm not gonna ask again. I know you moved the lampshade. Are you the one making all those noises outside? You don't have to be afraid to show yourself. I'm, I just want to know. So all I'm asking one last time is if there is anybody that can hear me right now, please just give me some sort of sign and I'll stop bothering you for the rest of the night, I promise. I guess, I guess, I guess nothing wants to talk to me, but I'm gonna get ready for bed, I'm gonna change, I'm gonna make one more time lapse, then probably call it a night, go to sleep, and again, if I hear anything, anything happens during the middle of the night, if I wake up somehow randomly, I'll film it as fast as I can, but damn, this has been such a crazy experience already, and it's really taught me a lot for, for some reason, it's like, it's, it's shown me a lot about myself and what I'm capable of and, you know, pushing myself out of my comfort zone to put myself in complete fear and vulnerability, honestly. noises like there was a loud noise from downstairs that was like a bang it literally just woke me up it's 3 12 right now i swear to god it, it sounded like a giant knock downstairs i put my computer away and everything so it's not loud at all but holy fuck It was 100% footsteps. Guys, I'm not leaving this room. I'm staying up here. This this is my safe space. Like, I'm not gonna go downstairs. There actually could be somebody down there. Maybe it was somebody walking around like the house, but I'm not gonna risk it. But you have to have heard those footsteps. I swear to God. Oh my God. Every time I'm in these situations, it's like I'm with, you know, somebody like Sam or Corey and Jake and they can like help me through it. Guys, I don't know what to do. This was a bad idea. Now I'm like, now I'm wide awake. I don't even know if I can go to sleep if I wanted to. I'm hating this, guys, but again, I want to stay as strong as I possibly can and stay here until sunrise because it's not even just 
for you guys, but it's for me. I want I want to challenge myself. I want to put myself out of my comfort zone and do something different. So I think I'm just gonna put in headphones, try to get some sleep, and hopefully, uh, hopefully nothing else happens. So <sighs> wish me luck. <laughs> Yo. So it's now almost 6 a.m. Just wanted to give you guys a little update really quick. So, I'm asleep, right? It's freezing, first of all. I, I, turned, I ended up turning the fan on, and I feel like, I feel something on my, my leg. I'm just like, ah, oh, you know what, that's nothing. Like, not even gonna worry about it. I tried to just ignore it and go back to sleep. And then, I felt something on my other leg, and I was like, it was just, it felt like something was tickling and like crawling on me, so I like freaked out and stood up really fast. And uh, I threw the blankets off. They're infested with ants. It's absolutely disgusting. So I had to go and find new blankets, which were downstairs, and now I'm like so wide awake from doing that that I'm not even tired again. I think a one hour till sunrise. But the weird thing was when I when I did wake up, I looked over here and the lampshade was down. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Um, maybe it was just because the fan was right next to it. Before I even started filming, I started to pack up a little bit because as soon as it's sunrise, I want to get the hell out of here. So I started, you know, putting away things and moving things back to where they were. But I'm ready to be done with this. I'm not even tired now and I have an hour. So I'm just trying to kill time by talking to the camera. So. <sighs> Ah, uh, okay, update guys. After I gave you the last update at about 6 a.m., I couldn't fall asleep at all. Just after that whole ant situation, I felt uncomfortable in this bed, and I was like, this is probably infested with ants. I want to get the hell out of here, so I ended up just hanging out on my phone, watching some YouTube videos and stuff like that, and I can proudly say, that is the sunrise right there, baby. That is the sunrise right there, baby. That means your boy, Mr. Colby Brock, stayed overnight by himself in a haunted Airbnb that apparently somebody committed suicide in right here. <laughs> I just wanted to recap really quick before I left to, you know, go over what happened last night one more time. Um, I think the craziest thing that happened was the lamp, um, especially that it fell twice, not not just once, but twice. When I woke up the second time, it was completely off and laying literally right there, so I have no idea what happened with that. I think it's kind of disgusting that this place was infested with ants, but, you know, that's okay. All the noises we heard outside, all of the, the voices, the foot steps to oh my god I forgot about that at 3 a.m. at 3 a.m. I woke up to a loud knock downstairs it sounded like somebody just just one time boom knocked on the door woke up and as I was trying to tell you guys that I'm pretty sure and I'll have to check the footage um, but I'm pretty sure we got footsteps downstairs while I was talking which is just absolutely insane so honestly really terrifying but I wanted to do it so don't think that you guys made me want to do this for any reason it was me like I definitely wanted to experience this on my own and I'm glad I did I don't take anything back if you guys want to see me do another part just like this in the future I don't know when it's gonna be let's see if we can get this video to 85,000 likes if we can do that then in the future at some point I'm gonna go to another scary place by myself because I still I'm still freaking about out about the lampshade thing and the footsteps downstairs and the fear when you're by yourself is heightened by 20 20 times it's, it's absolutely terrifying so yeah I'm glad to be leaving this place to be honest it's actually a lot more peaceful Oh, freaking rooster, man. This is peaceful as hell. I think I'm gonna end the video here, guys. <sighs> Again, if you enjoyed watching this, please leave a like. Let me know in the comments what you thought about all the things that we captured tonight. I'm still in disbelief. One last reminder to get the Halloween merch. If you wanna support me, get the merch. First link in the description and get ready for next week's country music video. It's only gonna be a two minute music video, but you know what? It's gonna be worth it, so get ready for that. And then finally, on Sunday is the Sam and Colby finale for our first series in UK. So go over there, turn on notifs, get ready for that. And yeah, I'm gonna leave. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Love you so much.